What's going on YouTube? It's Chris with That Was With Chris and I'm back with another Battle Box unboxing. This is mission number 21. I literally just got handed this to me by my postal guy um, just like two minutes ago. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and unbox it. I know there's already a ton of them out. Uh, you've probably seen um, this box unboxed already. Uh, so thank you for watching my version of it. Um, so you probably have a better idea of what's in here than I do. I don't watch other folks' unboxing videos until after I've done my own. So I've been waiting patiently. It's Monday, I think the 7th, and I finally got my box, Mission 21. I have a good idea that this has something to do with like sleep systems. Uh, beyond that, I don't really have a clue. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get going on this. Again, Mission 21 from Battle Box. This is the Pro Plus, and it came in the big black box. All right. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of gear in here. Oh, sweet. Okay, this is already pretty cool. What is going on? I got two. Oh, okay. So in here you get two cards. The first one is your sit rep. And it says Mission 21, Camp Comfort and Convenience. Okay, that's pretty cool. So the sit rep is rest and relaxation. So I'm guessing uh, stuff that, you know, make you comfortable around your camp if you're out camping. Pretty cool. The other card is the free Ready Man membership. So each level of Battle Box now comes with a free membership to Ready Man. And I've seen some you know, video overviews of what this will do for you. Uh, it's a website uh, membership that you can, you know, join in on that'll give you tips and all that stuff. Um, maybe I'll make a video on this after I learn more about it. But, you know, for a pro or a pro plus subscriber, it's a $20 a month value for basic and advanced members. Um, you know, this is normally a 10 month, uh, $10 a month value. So pretty cool that Ready Man um, and Battlebox teamed up to do this. And I'm interested to see what all it offers. So let's go ahead and, uh, and get going. And right here, we've got something. This looks familiar to something I've used before. And this is the Happy Camper Tent Fan and LED Light. And it says it requires two D batteries. I have something similar from Coleman. Um, you can hang from the ceiling of your tent. But this is basically, uh, well, an LED light and a tent fan. That's pretty cool. This one looks actually a lot nicer than the one I have from Coleman. Um, it looks like you could set it up, you know, on the ground or hang it. So pretty cool little, little item here. The one I have has a magnet on it and you stick part of it outside your tent and then, you know, up into the magnet from the inside and it holds pretty well. Um, this looks nice though. Typically in the middle of your tent you have like a little um, ring or something that you can hang stuff from. So that would be a good place for something like this. So pretty cool item. And that is a $14 value. Sounds pretty reasonable. The next item on the list is this little guy and this is a a Climate Pillow X. And I've seen um, seen these before. These are kind of handy if you're backpacking or camping and you don't want to take a full size pillow. Um, basically what you do is you know, unfold it and then There you go, you got a little pillow for um, your camping trip. So uh, something like this is especially nice if you backpack because it's not bulky and it's not really heavy. Um, you know, and it stores in this little bag right here. That is a $25 value. I think uh, I'm missing something from my box. I'll have to email them. Occasionally, you know, uh, an item doesn't make it into the box, it gets missed somehow. And, you know, all you need to do though is 
contact uh, BattleBox customer service and typically they'll, they'll get it sent right out to you. So it looks like I'm missing the, the Climate Cush seat, uh, $13 value. I don't know, I, I don't think I have it. Unless it came packaged in something else, which I'll figure that out shortly. Um, but anyways, this is the silicone collapsible coffee drip percolator. Um, I don't know how this works, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So I'll have to look into it. Um, you know, if it if it's something that you know you can use to make coffee when you're out backpacking or you know something like that, camping, that's pretty cool. I use a metal percolator when I make my coffee over a campfire. Just fill it up with water. Um, you know, fill, fill, put in the grinds and just throw it right on the fire, in the fire most of the time. And it, it works great. Something like this, I don't know how, um, how it would work, but I'm guessing maybe you put a paper filter in, put your coffee grinds in, heat up the water, and just kind of slowly pour it over. Um, and then, you know, as it soaks through, you get your coffee on the other end. That would be my guess. Something like this, it looks like you could probably fit it, just sit it right on top of your coffee cup as you're pouring the hot water in. Um, so pretty cool. I'm guessing that's how it works. If you know how it works, just uh, let me know in the comments below so everybody can you know learn. Um, if I'm right, let me know that too. Happens occasionally, right? Okay, next up in the basic box is a cool flask. That's nice. It's got a BattleBox logo um, kind of relieved into it. This is a, looks like a decent flask right here. You know, it's always nice to have a little whiskey and um, when you're out camping and just sip on a little whiskey or bourbon or something like that. Um, oh man, okay. Let's... Well, mine kind of broke. The heck? Doesn't seem to fit feel right when I'm trying to get it to tighten down. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Hmm, I don't know. Looked like a pretty cool flask, but if it doesn't work correctly, it's not gonna be that cool of a, an item. It's crazy, I know how to work a flask. I've used them a few times, I mean. Yeah, something's up with that. There's like a little, uh, I don't know if it's silicone or plastic uh, liner with the threads in it inside the, the cap. And I don't know if I messed up the threads or what. But you know, that would be a bummer. You go camping, you got some whiskey in your flask and you can't get this thing to thread correctly and it leaks out. She. All right. Well, that's kind of a disappointment. I'll um, I'll figure this out later. Maybe I can contact customer service about this too and see if I could get a new one or something. So that's uh, your basic box. Uh, the tent fan, the pillow, which is cool, the coffee percolator, and the flask. And I'm missing the seat. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm missing uh, a seat. Jeez. Okay, so the cost for the basic box is 25 bucks a month. It says you get a $65 value. Um, you know, the pillow and the tent fan, um, you know, that alone is probably pretty close to being a $25 value easily. So that's pretty cool. Lots of good stuff in the basic box. Bum that I don't have this seat. Uh, totally bummed. Anyways, um, the advanced box, $50 uh, is what it costs you. And you get two items in this advanced box. Um, one of them is this, and this appears to be a mosquito net. And I believe, you know, you could use this with a hammock. And I can't remember what mission it was, but several missions ago, um, BattleBox had a hammock. It was before I was a subscriber. Um, and I'm guessing that this mosquito net will work well with that hammock. 
And uh, a mosquito net, you know, if you're camping in the, the warm summers or even in some areas, uh, cool, cool times of the year too, you know, dealing with mosquitoes is a pain in the butt. It's one drawback of a, of a hammock. Um, and you can take care of that drawback with a, a decent mosquito net. So this one looks decent. I don't know what brand it is. So that's that. Here, the other item in the advanced box is this guy. And this is a, another climate item. And this is a, sleeping pad. It says this is a three quarter length compact sleeping pad. So that's pretty cool. Um, here you go. So yeah, that's not, you know, gonna cover my entire body. But if you think about it, if you can save some weight and some space when you're out backpacking all it's not going to cover on me is like my knees and below and i don't really need padding for you know my feet or my knees or anything like that so something like this uh pad would actually work really well in the tent that you got as your um, welcome box or mission 13 the mission 13 tent this would fit in there perfectly and you know get you a, a little bit of comfort when you're laying on the ground Something like this you could also use in your hammock. Um, you know, pads like this will actually help reduce some of the cold butt syndrome that you get when you sleep in a hammock. I like how it stores, you know, really small. And it looks like it comes with possibly a patch kit. Yeah, so it comes with a patch kit. That's nice. Folds up, or rolls up I should say. Um, really small so it's 13 ounces so that's not too bad that's pretty light and like I said it you know it's just really compact put that in your your pack and you're not really gonna notice it when you're out backpacking pretty neat all right so moving on to the pro the pro it costs us a hundred dollars they're saying the pro has a two hundred and twenty one dollar value and this is a BattleBox branded tropical three season sleeping bag. And it's right here. I'm pretty sure this is from Snug Pack. Repels water, oils, and stains, and is durable. Has a Teflon fabric protector built into it. It's kind of a cool little system for, you know, strapping it on. Okay, so that'll help keep it, you know, nice and dry with that cover. They are integrated um, straps, so you kind of need to run the cover on it or else cut these off or something. But I would, you know, suggest running it with the cover. Um, this is a five degrees Celsius bag. So I'm pretty sure this is from Snug Pack. This isn't really going to be a cold weather bag, but you could use it with a poncho liner or some other sleeping bag liner and um, you'd probably be pretty happy. Let's see how tall it is. So that'll be plenty tall enough. One thing that I always worry about, you know, I'm six foot tall, uh, is, you know, my feet getting stuck and hung up in the bottom. Um, it's a mummy bag. So you have a little spot for your face. Sweet. Looks like the zippers are nice. Huh, you can use this like a Snuggie. You can stick your arms out of it if you wanted to. It's got little zippers right here where you could um, slip your arms out. I guess that could also be used for venting if you needed it to, if it was just a, a nice warm day. Um, overall, that's pretty cool. Overall, this looks like a nice sleeping bag. Um, you know, it's gotta be pretty decent value. What are they saying? $100? That seems pretty reasonable. So this would be, you know, I'm looking at the SITREP card, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you have a, a sleeping bag liner or a poncho liner, 
or some other you know thing you can get a couple more degrees um, cooler out of that so pretty neat and that's the only item in your um, pro box included is a $25 credit with free shipping if you use a code to climb it so check out their website and see if there's anything that you know you might want to pick up in addition okay last but not least is the knife of the month and you know what they say it might not always be a knife so this is uh from boker it's called the boker plus tech tool city for multi-tool that's a long name um this is an 82 dollar value wow that's like a freaking swiss army knife holy crap Got a corkscrew. Like an awl with the blade on it. Quite a few tools in here. Decent knife blade on it. And that's pretty sharp. I mean, this quite possibly could be um, a really nice Swiss Army knife type style thing. It's got a wrench built in. Bottle openers, man, you got all sorts of stuff in here. Scissors, cool. This would be a good companion item when you're out camping or hiking, because you, know, you get quite a few tools. There's even a glass breaker built into right here. Um, so yeah, pretty nice little multi-tool slash knife, kind of like a Swiss Army knife with quite a few different functions. It's pretty heavy. Um, so you'll definitely feel it when it's in your pocket. All right, everybody. Overall, it looks like it's a, a decent box. Uh, definitely stuff that I can use um, when I'm out camping. And if you're a backpacker, there's some great stuff in here. If you're a car camper, you know, some of this stuff is going to be totally useful. Looks like you got a decent value in here. I personally am kind of bummed because of, you know, not having the chair and then my flask not working correctly it's a cool looking flask but if it doesn't work what good is it going to do for me um so yeah that that's going to wrap it up i think uh pretty fair value overall they're saying the total value is 304 dollars, and if you pay 50 150 for it you know i think it's pretty reasonable to say that that's you know pretty accurate maybe a little bit lower you know if stuff's on sale you can find stuff for cheaper but overall some really cool items and yeah, I'm going to go email customer service now because I didn't get my seat and this thing's broken. All right. If you're new to the channel, take a look at a few other videos. You might like what you see. If you do, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, there's a comment area down below. Thanks for watching. And as always, thanks for getting out west with Chris.